Hello all, today we are going to learn about this integration effect using Photoshop. For this, let's take an image. Double click onto the layer, rename it to background, click OK. Lock mark has been removed. Now, to make the selection, go to the se quick selection tool and start making the selection by clicking the mouse left side side button and drag it onto the image to make the selection. Always use the subtract from selection to subtract the unwanted selection which are made. To add selection, go to the add selection mark and start making the selection again. Okay. Once the selection is made, click Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. Rename this one to image. Hide the background layer and you'll see that the new image that has been duplicated is transparent. It doesn't have any background. Now, create a new layer and bring this layer, bring this empty layer below the image layer. Rename it to white background. Fill this layer with a white color. Make sure that the layer has been selected. Okay. Once done, uh, paint bucket tool to fill the white color on the layer. Now, click onto the image layer, rename it to effects. Again, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it and rename this one to image. Now select the effects layer, go to filters in the top menu bar and select liquify. Okay. You can uh, change the brush size according to your requirement. I'll make it like keep it like 500, density 200, pressure 200 and brush rate 0. Now start by clicking and dragging onto the image to make the effect. You can always use Ctrl Z to undo any step. Um, you can adjust the opacity from here to see it better. Once done, click OK. Now, keeping the effects layer selected, make a mask. Go right here onto the this rectangle icon which says add layer mask. Click onto it. A mask has been created. Make sure that your foreground color is black and your background color is white. Go to the brush tool. Select a simple brush, square one. Increase the size of the brush.
and start using onto the image. See, the mask has been turned black. Now, click on to the image layer and add another mask to it. Select a pattern brush. Let's take um, this one. I think select the thick heavy brush and select this one or maybe this one. Let's increase its size and see. Um, Okay, this one will do. Now, selecting the mask, click on to the image to make the effect. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush according to your need now go to the effects layer click on to the mask and now go to the effects layer select the mask and start making the effects again you can always increase or decrease the size of the brush according to your need now select the move tool and bring the texture which you want to use onto the face we will be using a cracked texture one bring this texture at the top of all the layers rasterize it decrease its opacity to around 40 rotate it adjust its size Now, again select the move tool. Now select the layer, go to the edit option, transform and select wrap. Decrease the opacity to 40 and start adjusting the anchors so that it covers the complete face. Okay, once done, bring the opacity back to 100%, select move, move tool, click apply, go to modes and select soft light. Now select by clicking on to this adjustment layer icon, select hue saturation. Bring the saturation to around minus 100 and light to
round plus eight. Now go to the texture layer and create a mask on it. Select the brush, normal brush. Increase its size. And start removing the unwanted tracks from the photograph. Once done, now merge all the layers by clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt and E. A new layer has been created at the top. Okay. Once the selection has been made, go to the Hue Saturation again and increase the Hue to around 43 and saturation to around minus 8 click linear dodge tool make it a bit darker by uh, increase decreasing the lightness or you can select the preset canotype or any effect you want I think this one looks fine This one is fine. Okay. This is done. Go to the file option. Click save as. Name it as. Images. Click OK. okay. I'll save as. Make a JPEG image. File open, right click, and you can view its preview. See. Okay, guys, this is for now. See you again. Bye bye.